You know, I think core values are one of those things that we think about from time to time. You know, we might do a workshop around them at the company we work for, or we might read a self-help book and they talk about core values. And we might make our list of core values and then set it off to the side and feel really good about it for a while and then lose sight of it. Well, not for me and not in my coaching practice. To me, core values are a central way in which we work because when we work with the core values, we are working with the truth of who you are. I'm Heather Evans for the best advice on self-care and personal empowerment. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. I want to walk you through a process to help you find your core values and begin living them every day. Let's get started. I've created a worksheet to help you through this process. So if you want that while you watch this video, be sure to click on the link in the description below and you can download it there. If you want to simply use a blank sheet of paper, feel free to do that as well. And then you can grab the tool later. The first thing I want you to do is to make a list of the things that are important to you. Now, these aren't your core values just yet. These are the things that you enjoy and that if you had a choice about it, you would spend all of your time doing. I'm going to show you my list here. On my list, I have things like spending time outdoors, physical activity, my yoga practice, deep connection with my family. These are all ideas that you can use, but I want this list to be personal to you. So I want you to write down a list of 10 to 20 things that are really important to you. Once you have this list, I want you to think about the feelings these things give you or the feelings that you want these things to give you. So for example, the time that I spend outdoors, that gives me feelings of freedom, space, when I think about that deep connection with my family, deep connection with my family gives me feelings of belonging, of love, of being included, being needed and wanted. The next thing I want you to do is to write down the feelings these important things give you or the feelings you want these important things to give you. For example, on my list, I have deep connection to family. This gives me feelings of being loved, of being needed and wanted. It also gives me a feeling of belonging somewhere. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this list of important things and then you're going to identify the feelings associated with those things that are important to you. By now you should have two lists. You should have the things that are important to you and you should have the feelings that those important things give you. And I want you to look at them together. From these two lists, you're going to be begin to discern what your core values are. For me, the deep connection to my family, which gives me those feelings of love and belonging, I can distill that into connection. Deep connection is one of my core values. I want you to distill your two lists into five to 10 core values. I want you to have at least five, but no more than 10. Once we've distilled our list, and I'm going to share my list of core values with you right now, I want you to begin the process of prioritizing this list. Here's why. If we can begin living our top three core values every day, then we're starting to live in alignment with our truth. My top three core values are being in service to others. So being in service, deep connection, and self-care. Those are my top three. And what I do is I find ways to live those top three core values every day. I want you to be living as many of your core values as possible every day. I want you to be actively living them because when we actively live our core values, we're in alignment with our truth. Our stress decreases, overwhelm decreases, anxiety decreases. When we are clear on our core values, our no's become clear and our yeses become even clearer. I'll give you an example. If I'm approached about a project, I can look at that project and say, okay, is this in alignment with my core values? 
is this in alignment with me being in service? Is this giving me some deep connection? Does it provide me with the opportunity for self-care? If the answer is yes, if another project gives me access to my top three core values, then I'm moving forward on it. If it doesn't, I have to see what other core values it might be fulfilling. I would love to know what your top three core values are. Share them in the comments below. We want to begin saying yes to the people, experiences, and things that give us more of our core values in our life. I want you to be having those feelings you identified every day. When I work with my clients, we are always coming back to core values. We are always coming back to this foundational piece because it does inform what's important to you. And when we live in alignment with our core values, you have the opportunity to expand and not contract. You have the opportunity to feel those sensations that you want to have in your life. And you begin the process of inviting and attracting more of the things that are in alignment with who you truly are. If you are ready to begin living your core values every day and you want to deepen your practice of this, I would encourage you to register for the Inner Fire Membership Program. This is a monthly program where we will be doing a deep dive on everything from money mindset to managing your emotions. And guess what? Your core values inform all of this. I'll include a link in the description below. Be sure to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos every Monday and Thursday. Stay aligned out there, stay ignited out there, and I will see you soon. Bye.